won the whole series. Yes, the first chapter title is God God made many things. In the beginning there were nothing. There was no sun, there was no moon. There were no stars. It is all black. I'll make the word God said. So God made the word. Oh, I, I think that is sun, right? I will make this. I will make a sun. God said. God made the sun. The sun helps you see things in the daytime. I'll make a moon, God said. God made other moon. The moon helps you see things at night. I will make stars, God said. What do you think he did then? God made stars. You do you know do you like stars? Yes, I like stars. It is very beautiful. God made a man and woman. God made you and me. God made many more things too. He made them for you and me. Are you happy that God made everything? Thank you, God, for everything. Chapter 2 Something bad, something sad. Generous to... I cannot... <laughs> Adam was Eve's husband. Eve was Adam's life, wife. They had a good home. They had a good food. They could go anywhere they want to go. They could do anything they want to do. They had many good things and the, they were happy. Adam has made... Adam has put all of the animal animal name and the tree's name and something like that. He has to all remember also. But and Adam was a little bit sad because all animals have friends but he didn't have any friend. So God made ha Eve. But there was nothing they could not do. You must not eat the fruit on that tree, God said. For a time, Adam and Eve did not eat the fruit from the tree. Satan took to Eve one day. It looks delicious. Try it. It will make you clever, he said. Eve knew that God did not God did not want her to eat it, but she didn't obey God's word and ate the fruit. Adam ate it too. Then Adam and Eve knew that they had done something very bad. Is God said, don't eat the fruit. And how a snake has said, you will, it will make you clever. And Eve has made 
eaten and gave it to Adam. They were so very sad. God made them go away from their home. He took away their God good food. It began to hurt them. We didn't obey God's word. They said, "Is it is good for us to listen to God too." Chapter three. Noah made a big boat. Make a big boat, God said. Yes, said Noah. I will. I will. Noah. God loved God. Noah obeyed God. He wanted to do what God said. I think Noah is a very good person. God told Noah how to make the boat. Noah made it as God said. It took a long, long time. Noah put all kind of animal on the boat. Then Noah went into the boat. His family went with him. Actually, God said, not all the animals, all kind of animals, eat female, female and male. And God has said all the animals. One day, it started to rain. It rained and rained and rained. The water went over the houses. It went over the trees. The water went higher and higher and higher. Soon there were no more people, but Noah and his family were safe in the boat. Noah obeyed God, so God took care of Noah. Thank you, God, said Noah said one day. Noah thanked God for taking care of him. He thanked God for taking care of his family. He thanked God for da for da care taking care of the animal. Thank you, God, for taking care of me. Chapter 4 A Time to Say Thank You There was water all over the world, but Noah and his family were safe. God told Noah to make a big boat. He told Noah to make his family on the big boat. He told Noah to take all the animals too. God was truly taking care of them all. They were in the boat for many days. One day Noah looked out. The water was all gone. God has taken it away. We must stand for God for helping us, said Noah. Noah and his family thanked God. God was pleased with them. God showed them a rainbow. You will see the rainbow many times, God said. It is a promise that I will not destroy the destroy the world with water. Noah was happy with God's promise. Oh, the rainbow color is very nice. God made Noah and his family and the animal happy. Chapter 5 Abraham obeyed God. Abraham worshipped God. He prayed to God. He wanted to 
please God. Abraham was good friend, God's friend. One day, God told Abraham, put your son Isaac on the altar. God said, he will die there. Abraham was very sad. He didn't he did not want his son to die, but God said he must do it. That should Abraham, what should Abraham do? I think when I was Abraham, I think I will be very sad. And I will think, should I alter to God or should I not obey God? Abraham knew what he must do, he must obey God. So Abraham put Isaac on the altar. But God did not let Isaac die. Stop, God said. I do not want Isaac to die now. I know now that you really obey and trust me. Abraham was very happy. He wanted home with Isaac. They were, are you happy that Abraham obeyed God? Yes. We should always obey God. Chapter 6. Jacob saw a ladder. Jacob was very sad. He had to run away from home. He had to go far away. Jacob walked all day. He walked far from home. Then he stopped it. It was time to sleep. That night, Jacob had a dream. He saw a ladder. It went up all the way to up to heaven. Angel went up and down the ladder. Then God talked to Jacob. I will go with you, God said. I will help you. Jacob stopped it dreaming. He sat up. God was here, he said, and God will go with me. Jacob was happy. He went God to be with him. He wanted God to help him. Chapter 7 I already wrote chapter 7 God help Joseph Joseph has 12 sons Jacob had 12 sons but he loved Joseph the most he gave Joseph the best clothes he gave him the most delicious food. One day, Joseph had a dream. In his dream, he became the ruler of the, his brother. He boasted about the dream to his father and brother. His brother hated Joseph even more. One day, brother said, let's kill Joseph. Another brother said, don't kill him. Let's sell him as a slave. The brothers sold Joseph to Medain Marchands. Joseph became a slave in Egypt. Actually, Reuben, one brother, Joseph's brother, said, Let's don't kill him. Let's throw in that empty well because he knew it is not nice. So he said to Joseph, I will bring you back to home. But that time, the other brother has sold Joseph. Joseph came to a house of Potiphar, a general of Egypt. He worked very hard. Joseph was a helpful slave, but God helped him. God blessed 
the house of Potiphar because of Joseph. One day something bad happened. Potiphar's life, wife lied to his husband. She said, Joseph is a bad slave. Potiphar put Joseph in a prison. God was with Joseph in the prison. God, Joseph took care of the prisoners. One day, Joseph interpreted the dream of two prisoners. They were helpers of the king. They were help. A few days later, the dream came true. One night, the Egyptian king had two strange dreams. In one dream, seven skinny cows ate of healthy cows. In another dream, seven dreams bundled of grain ate up seven healthy bundle of grain. What does this dream mean? The king asked many people. No one could tell him the dream, dream meaning of the dream. Then king's helper remembered Joseph. He was in jail with Joseph. Joseph can <coughs> Joseph can tell you a dream. The king sent for Joseph. The dream means that for the next seven years you will have good ear. You will harvest plenty of crowds. But you will have also seven bad years. You won't have any crops. You won't. You must prepare so for the female gods. The king was very pleased. The king was amazed and happy with Joseph's wisdom. The king said, "You are very wise. I want you to rule my people." The king made Joseph in a ruler over Egypt. God took care of me, said Joseph. God was with me. Yesterday I read seven chapters. It was fun then. Bye!